Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. My name is Darren, I'm a Canva certified creative. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can search better in Canva. We've got eight ways that you're gonna be able to search, and I'm gonna show you an amazing way that you can find some more frames when you're searching through the elements. So stay tuned through to the end, and make sure you don't miss that one out. But what I'll also do is I'll be putting the timestamps down in the description below, and also any other videos that I reference to, I'll be able to put those down there. And don't forget, down in the description as well, there's also a link to a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. We're gonna be looking at a lot of the Canva Pro options in today's video. So make sure you check that out and take advantage of the Canva Pro offer that I've got down below. It's 45 days, which is 50% more than the normal 30 days that you'll get if you go direct to Canva's website. So let's dive into Canva and have a look. Okay, when you first come into Canva, this will be the home screen that you're presented with. And the first option you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to search in here. You can search for Facebook post or whatever type of kind of creation you want to make. You've got all sorts. You can either do custom size or edit photo. And if you've not seen my eight top tips that you probably aren't aware of in Canva, I'll put a link up here for you so you can make sure you check that video out as well. So what we can do here, we can search for Canva post. When we click enter, we get a bunch of designs show up. And these are all Facebook posts should I say, not Canva posts. These are all Facebook posts. And you might be thinking, right, well, this is all Valentine's Day stuff. And that's because that's kind of what's relevant and what's happening at the moment. We've just had Valentine's Day at the time of recording this. But you might want to search for Facebook post Mother's Day. So and there you go. You get all these other Mother's Day posts come up. It's actually 24,104 templates, apparently. It's quite a lot of templates. However, what you can do is you can search by category so you can search as you say by by facebook post here as well I'll type that in there facebook post and that'll show you those and then you can search by color so say you want facebook posts that are just purple or you want ones that are teal or yellow it gives you a great starting point that if that's the kind of color or the aesthetic that you're going for you can search there by color and then you just click on the design that you want to start but what we're going to do we're going to go to a blank facebook post and we're going to go and have a look inside the actual design area next okay so next we're in the design area and in the design area you can again search for mother's day posts and you get all these posts come up here and on on the pro version you'll see that you've got the little icon here, which it gives you like little sliders. You click on that, and again, you can click to choose kind of like pink ones or red ones, and that'll show you all the designs there that you can have with that. You can also choose by language. So if you're not uh, English speaking, or you're looking for a template that's more in your native language, then you can choose to search for those. So you can apply for the filters, there you go. These are all the designs that you can find in a uh, different language. And whilst I love visiting Italian, uh, I don't actually speak that much Italian. I really need to learn more on that side of things. So that's searching templates. Next, we're going to have a look at searching photographs. So when you come to search for a photograph, you might be looking for a particular shape, size, or um, a particular theme that you're looking for. And again, you come up to the search bar and you can search for whatever you want. Um, this is one that I found recently. It's just shadows and people. And you can search by adding those two things together. If I just add in there, if I just type, type shadow, spell it correctly, that'll bring up all sorts of shadows. And you can see those come in over there. And these are all cut out. And that's another option that I you can do is you can do cut out, oops, cute out, cut out. So when you're looking for items, you can search and you can add the word cut out on the end. And that'll give you all the options that you can, or the other, all the photographs that you can find with the cut out option. And again, You'll see if you're on Canva Pro, and don't forget that free trial is down below for 45 days. You can click on this little icon at the side here and we can search by color again. We can search whether we want a square image, vertical image, a horizontal image, and we can also search for just free images or whether we want to search for just pro, just pro images. So I'm gonna just 
cancel out of that a second. I'm gonna bring this one in here. I'm gonna show you another way of how you can find images similar to this or by the same artists or by the same photographer. So if you see an image that's one that you like and you want to think like, ah, I really like that image. I wanna see what else that other, or what else that photographer has got to offer. So you put the image onto your canvas and then you'll notice this little icon up here, this little info icon. If we click on that, we then can look that this is um, an artist called Shen Lu and we can search for more images by Shen Lu and this gives this particular artist has this code however all their images are shown down here so we can see we've got another one here that's with a similar kind of like look and feel but that is a great way to find other images by the same photographer or the same artist and also you can see on here that this is free for Canva Pro users so this gives you an example of if you're a pro account holder you can use this image for all these reasons if you want to learn more about the license you can do just there on that info button a few more things on the info button here we've got keywords so we can search for other items here so we can search as I say we can think right well actually what I want is I want more shadows what we're missing on there is people so we just add the plus sign and add people and that gives us some more options to search with the shadows and with people. So before we go off the photographs, I'm going to show you a couple more options there that you've got under the info button. Under the info button, you've also got the option to add this to your likes, so you can go back and find those later on. You can also add it to a folder, so if there's a particular set of images that you like working with on a regular basis, you can add them to your folder, build up themes, and kind of reference back to those again because you can see your folders down here and you'll be able to use those and quickly access those in the future. Okay, so that's how you can search for photographs, find things similar to those artists within the photographs and just kind of like find better images that better suit your options. Use all the keywords that you want, use the info button and make sure you check out the tags or the reference or the metadata that's on there. That'll help you find other images similar to that particular photograph and also within the same theme. And it might give you some ideas as to how to search for a particular image that you might not yet have thought about. Next, we're gonna look at elements and searching for elements within Canva. Again, we can search for, let's say, arrow. And this is a particular arrow that I like. Or this one oops can't see that one let me just change the color of the background there and again you can click on the arrow and you can click on the view more by marketplace designers and you can search for brushstroke arrow wavy again you can add it to your likes folders and if you want you've also got the option to click on the three little lines at the side here again this is a pro option and you can search for lines of a particular color you can search static animations or you can search animated. So say I was looking for an arrow that was animated, I just click on animated here, apply those filters, and now I've got all the animated arrows that I could ever want. And if you can't find an animated arrow that you is in here that you want to use, then let me know down below if you can't find the right arrow. Okay, so that's how you can, if you want to go back to a static arrow, you just want a straight arrow, you can again click on that change that over there and then that will show you there you can also search for just free or just pro so if you're working with Canva with a client and you want to share the template with them and they've only got a free account you can just limit the options to just free and that gives you all the free options or you can just search if you want to use the pro options you can just search for all pro elements as well there if you're searching make sure you clear your filters between between searches Okay, next we're gonna look at what um, something called magic recommendations. So say I was searching for, let's say just search some, some of the elements that I've used recently. So if I search for this particular number, you'll see magic recommendations comes up. You click see all, and it gives you similar looking items with all the numbers that you want. So say I want that one, and then you can search and it gives you all the numbers there that you want. So that's something to keep an eye out for, is if you're looking for a design that's uh, similar in nature to what you found, so say we've got this police car, it'll also give you then other options that kind of have the same look or feel or with, are within the same kind of elements 
Okay, so that's searching in elements and I'm gonna come back to frames at the end because I'm gonna show you how you can find some amazing frames. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find these frames here. So I've got these amazing frames and I'm gonna show you how you can find these and more frames like this. So make sure you stick around to the end and I'm gonna show you that. But next we're gonna have a look at how to search video and audio. So we're gonna come into audio and again, you can search up here for a particular track that you want that might have those keywords in there. You can search or use the smart search options here, which include vocals or instrumentals. So if I want just instrumental music, because I don't want any singing on it, I can do that and I can apply the, free, the, the filters to that. And again, just to use these, I can just literally just click them, drag them across and use those audio images. And it's the same for the video. If you want, you can search for either free or pro on the video side of things. And the, unfortunately, what you can't do at the moment is you can't see who the artist is, you can't click on that. That's a feature that I would like to see Canva add in the future so you can find similar looking video. But that's audio and video as it stands at the moment. And if you want to upload your own video or your own audio, I recommend services like Epidemic Sound or Upbeat. And if you've not watched my videos on those, I'll link those both up here and in the description down below. And you can get a free trial of both either Epidemic Sound or Upbeat. Finally, we are going to come back to frames. I'm just copying a code that I've got over on the side here. But when you come over to frames, you'll see you've got an absolute ton of frames here. Some really interesting ones like your laptop, your paintbrush options, different shapes, and different kind of other kind of cutouts. You've got letters, and you've got numbers, and then you've got some other options down here. However, and you can just, again, you can filter using the options at the side. However, if you use this code, here and you use brand this code here uh, plus frames you'll see that you get a whole bunch of extra frames that you can use in your designs not all of them are frames but most of these are frames that you can use you've got different blob frames you've got all sorts of different cutout frames and the things similar to these ones where they've got a slight little overlay so you can come in you can add your photo in here oops and there there you go you see you've got this little graphic over the edge and if you just click detach image you can just detach the image there but that's how you can search for those extra frames in canva and just keep scrolling down scrolling down and you'll see there's an absolute bunch or an absolute ton of different frames that you might find useful this one as well, I've not seen that one before. You can change the color of the elements around the edge. Thank you very much. Don't forget the 45 day free trial of Canva down in the description below. I'll also add a link down there to AppBee and Epidemic Sound and other options that I um, can help you with. And until next time, bye for now.